Hallo, mein Name ist Luzi and today we will talk about a very important topic. Akkusativ oder Dativ? When do you have to use which and why? I'm also gonna answer a question which you might have asked yourself before. Why do we have cases? Then we're gonna talk about the differences and functions of all those cases. And of course, we will talk about Akkusativ and Dativ. Start with the first question. Why do we have these cases? And therefore, we're gonna look at this sentence here. Den Mann beißt der Hund. Beißen, beißen is to bite. So now the question is, who bites who? Is it the man bites the dog? Or is it the dog bites the man? And of course, and logically, yes, it's correct. It's the dog bites the man. But how do I know this? And that's why we need these cases. When you look at the first article, den, das ist ein Akkusativ Artikel. That's a accusative article. Und der, der, der Hund, ist ein Nominativ Artikel. And after this video, you will know that nominative, the case nominative, is always, always for the subject and accusative is always an object. And because the subject is the main character in a sentence, therefore it's also here, it's the main person. So it's actually would be better if you say der Hund beißt den Mann. So why do we have cases? The case shows the function of the noun in a sentence. So actually, we do have cases to help you. That's that's the reason. We just want to help you. It doesn't look like this in the beginning. I know, I know. But I hope one day, I'm sure one day you will understand. And I hope after this video, you can also understand German cases a little bit better. All right. What functions? What functions do we have? We take a simple sentence. Hans schreibt. Hans schreibt. Hans is writing. And there we have Hans, which is the subject, and we have schreibt, which is the verb. And this is already a perfect, complete sentence. Now, important here, subject is always nominative. So the nominative case is always for the subject. Nominative case is usually the first case you learn. Whenever you learn a new noun, like for example, der Tisch, die Flasche, das Buch, this is always the nominative. So nominative is kind of the original form of the noun. But here important nominative is for the subject. All subjects are in nominative case. Now let's add something to the sentence. Let's add an object and we can say Hans schreibt einen Brief. Und einen Brief ist ein Objekt im Akkusativ. And let's add something more. Now we can also say, who is he writing this letter to? So we could say, Hans schreibt mir einen Brief. Hans schreibt mir einen Brief. He writes a letter to me. And this mir is also an object, aber im Dativ. So now we have it here, a complete sentence with a subject verb and two objects. And regarding the cases, again, subject is always nominative and the objects are either dative or accusative. Now, to determine these cases, we can ask questions. And these are questions you might have seen or you might came across already. For example, for the subject, you can ask wer. Wer is who or was, was is what. So, wer macht etwas, who is doing something? Oder was, what is doing something? Then for accusative object, we can ask wen oder was, wen oder was. And this wen is actually just also, it's also who, but in accusative. So, who do you see or what do you buy? And for dative, we can ask wem. Und wem is also who, but in dative case. But here important is wem, there is no was. 
and this has a, an important reason. The dative case is usually only used for people, for human beings, for mention, and accusative can be for people and things. So again, dative case is usually for people. This is also something you have to memorize because whenever you have two objects and you have a person and a thing, the chances that the dative and the person is in dative and the thing is in accusative is almost 100%. So this is another way to kind of figure out which one of those objects is here accusative and which one is dative. All right, let's start with nominative. And as I said, nominative, of course, is always the subject. Let's do a sentence. Der Mann hier, der Mann ist glücklich. The man is happy. Now you can ask, wer, just to make sure, wer, wer ist glücklich? Who is happy? Der Mann. Der Mann ist glücklich. Or for a thing, das ist ein Computer, and the computer is also happy. But you can also say, the computer ist neu. Der Computer ist neu, and here you can ask, was ist neu, what, because it's a thing, what is new, der Computer ist neu. Let's go to Akkusativ. When do you have to use Akkusativ? As I said before, it's a object. So the objects are either Akkusativ or Dativ. And object for Akkusativ is often referred to as the direct object. More about this later in this video. But accusative is of course also used after specific verbs. And this is important. Every verb, every German verb requires a specific case. The good news here, almost all German verbs do require accusative case. So there is absolutely no need to make a list or to memorize or whatever accusative verbs or verbs which do require the accusative case. The only thing you have to do is kind of the opposite. You have to memorize which verbs are not accusative. And one of those important ones, which is also not dative, it's actually nominative verb kind of, das ist sein. And sein is the be verb, das to be. Of course, it's a common verb. That's why I mention it here. And sein is one of those few verbs which do have two nominative. So, for example, mein Vater ist ein Tierarzt. Mein Vater is subject, of course, nominative. And ein Tierarzt is also nominative because sein, the verb sein, has or can have two nominatives. That's one exception. And then there's, of course, the dative verbs. But all the rest, everything else is accusative. So again, there's no need to make a list. There's no need to learn them. Whenever you are not sure, always use accusative. It's just the chances are very high. It's the most common case for the verbs. And of course, accusative is also used after specific prepositions. We will not talk about prepositions in this video. This video is just about verbs. We have a lot of videos about prepositions already. You find links down in the description. We have prepositions about dative and accusative. Everything is there. Let's do a, an example. We take the verb sehen. Sehen is to see. And sehen is, of course, like most verbs, mit, with accusative. Ich, ich is in red, so it's a subject. Ich sehe. Ich, I see, I see. But this is not complete. This sentence is not complete. You need here an object, right? So you can ask, wen siehst du? Wen siehst du? Oder wen sehe ich? Who do I see? And I see this man here. So I can see, ich sehe den Mann. Ich sehe den Mann. And here on top, you have the articles in accusative, important, they only change in masculine. So for masculine nouns, you have to change the articles. I'm not going to go into detail with the articles because we do have separate videos for each and every case where we go into detail with the articles. Find also links down in the description. All right, let's do an example with a thing. Ich brauche. Brauchen, brauchen heißt to need. 
and here the question again the sentence is not complete so you would ask was brauchst du oder was brauche ich and i want this computer so i say ich brauche einen computer ich brauche einen computer einen computer ist akkusativ warum why because of the verb brauchen Let's do some examples. The first one, mein Vater kauft einen Apfel. Mein Vater kauft einen Apfel. Mein Vater in red is a subject. Einen Apfel ist Objekt. And why is it accusative? Because of kaufen. Oder Anna hat den Laptop nicht. Anna is Subjekt. Den Laptop ist Akkusativ. Objekt. Warum Akkusativ? Why Akkusativ? Because The verb haben is plus accusativ. Or, the question, liest du gern Bücher? Liest du gern Bücher? Do you like to read books? Why is Bücher in accusative? Because lesen is plus accusativ. Dativ. Next case is the dative case. Again, of course, it's an object and referred to as a indirect object. Just talk about it, this in a second. And also, as mentioned before, dative case is used after specific verbs. But you can see here, it's only about 50 verbs in total. Not in total, but the most common verbs we use or in daily life we use is only about 50. So it's kind of from A2 to B2 level. You only need to learn 50 verbs which do require the dative case. This is really not that much. And I recommend you to do this, to learn those dative verbs, plus sein is mit nominative, and all the rest is accusative, and you will are good to go. All right, after specific verbs, and of course also after specific prepositions. Zum Beispiel, das Verb helfen. Helfen ist ein dativ Verb. Heißt to help, to help somebody. Now we have... This woman here, die Frau, die Frau hilft. Die Frau ist Subjekt. Now, again, this sentence is not complete. So, who is she helping? Whom? So, we have the question, wem? Wem hilft sie? Wem hilft sie? Antwort, sie hilft dem Kind. Sie hilft dem Kind. She helps the boy or the child. And again, here you see... Above, there are the articles in the dative case, a little bit more complicated than the accusative ones, but important, you have to memorize those. You really need to know those articles. Let's do an example with a thing. Zum Beispiel, der Computer gehört. Gehören is also a dative verb, and gehören heißt belong to. Now, der Computer gehört. You ask, who, who, does, who does this computer belong to? Again, wem gehört der Computer? Answer, der Computer gehört der Frau. Der Computer gehört der Frau. The computer belongs to the woman. All right, let's do some examples with the dative case. For example, das Bild gefällt dem Mann. Das Bild gefällt dem Mann. The man likes the picture. Again, red subject and the man is the object and it's in dative. Why? Because of the verb gefallen requires the dative case. Or Max antwortet der Lehrerin. Antworten also a verb which requires the dative case. And schmeckt dir meine Suppe? Schmeckt dir meine Suppe? Das Do you like my soup? Again, schmecken is a dative verb. Therefore, meine Suppe is subject and dir is the object in dativ. And you see here also, it's always a person, right? Dative, that's what I said before. Die Mann, der Lehrerin, dir. Usually or almost always, if you have a dative object, this object is a person. Now, accusative and dative, is that possible? Of course, you can have more than one object in a sentence. And then, it's usually you have an accusative object and a 
dative object. For example, we take the verb geben. Geben has to give. And geben is a verb which requires accusative and dative. Here again, this some verbs, they can have both. And usually also accusative, what I said before, is for the object and dative for the person. Zum Beispiel Peter gibt. That's the start of this sentence. Peter is the das Subjekt. Peter gives. Now we want to know whom is she, he giving something. Wem gibt er etwas? Answer. Peter gibt dem Kind. Peter gibt dem Kind. So now we have the person. Now we also want to know what does he give this, per, this child. And then we can ask was. Was gibt er dem Kind? And there we have the answer. Peter gibt dem Kind einen Apfel. Peter gibt dem Kind einen Apfel. And here you can see again the person is in dative, dem Kind. And the object is in Akkusativ. Or the sample example sentences we did in the beginning. Hans schreibt mir einen Brief. Hans schreibt mir einen Brief. We have subject verbs and two objects. And now you can see object here. Das ist ein Akkusativ object. Or now it comes. You can also say direct object. So this is also kind of help. If like this usually accusative is Similar like it's like a direct object. And why direct object? Because it is connected to the subject. And the direct object is connected directly to the subject. So Hans schreibt einen Brief. So he writes a letter. So the brief is the direct object. And then we have the indirect object, which is the dative object. And that's me. And I'm kind of outside somewhere else i'm not so important there so i'm this indirect object so he writes a letter to me or you can also see this at this sentence we just did before peter gibt dem kind einen apfel so peter he has an apple in his hand and this apple is the direct object because it's connected to the subject and he gives this apple to the child so the child is at least in the beginning, uh, is somewhere far away, and then he gives this apple to this to the child. So the child is the indirect object, and indirect object is always the dative case. So just a little quick as a summary. To understand dative or accusative, you have to know nominative, of course. You have to know that nominative is always the subject. And then you need to know that the object is, if you just have one object, just one object, then just go and check the verb. In most cases, as I said, it's accusative. So if you have just one object, almost always it will be accusative case. Learn these verbs which require the dative case because these are the only ones. If you have two objects, like in this case here, for example, then usually the person is dative and the thing is accusative. And that's how you can determine the different cases or especially accusative and dative. Bonus tip. There is one thing which might you know already. I'm not sure, but I just want to make sure. For example, this sentence here. Before, we always did sentences in present tense. Mia hat einen Laptop gekauft. This is a sentence in perfect tense, imperfect. And here we see we have two verbs. Because I always say it before, right? So it's like, just go and check the verb. And then you know if you have to use accusative or dative. But what if you have two verbs? Which one is the important one? Like in this example here, in perfect tense, we have haben, which is a auxiliary verb, ein Hilfsverb. And we have gekauft, which is the pp of kaufen, and this is actually the full or main verb, das Vollverb. And if you have to use accusative or dative, always depends on the main verb.
So this is important. And if you have, for example, a sentence like this in perfect, then you need to go for the main verb, which is usually the PP. So you see kaufen A plus Akkusativ, therefore it's mir hat einen Laptop gekauft, because laptop is masculine. Or another one, mir kann dem Kind nicht helfen. Again, two verbs. And here we have an example in with a modal verb, a modal verb. And this modal verb, they also kind of act like a auxiliary verb. So the main verb again is helfen and helfen requires a dative case. Therefore, the sentence is correct when you say mir kann dem Kind dativ nicht helfen. If you want to go more into detail for each and every case, I suggest you watch this playlist right here. There you will find the video about each and every case in detail. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. I hope you learned something and I really hope to see you soon again in one of our next videos. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss und bye bye.